I'm surprised it's taken us this long to do this, but after two months, now that we have 60,000 miles on this car that had 57,000 on it when we got it, we are going to change the cabin air filter in our Tesla Model 3. You joined me from the cabin of our Tesla Model 3, and we've had this vehicle for a couple of months. We've put close to 3,000 miles on it now, and it's time for some of the regular maintenance uh, because we're going to change the cabin air filter today because it's sometimes when the AC blows uh, full on, it kind of smells a little like feet, and I want to make sure that that's not me. Uh, now, this is not going to reinvent the wheel. Uh, there is another YouTube channel uh, called Tesla Owners Online, and I'll link to his specific video. It, it's, it's been up for a few years, and I watched that video, and it got me the idea to purchase this uh, cabin air filter from Amazon. It's made by a company called uh, Xtechnor. Um, I don't have affiliate links or anything like that, but you can just search this on Amazon and it's there. And the reason I got this from watching his video is that it comes with a couple of the installation tools, basically all of the installation tools you'll need to do the install. And when I checked online, the price for this kit on Amazon was less than it would have been to go just get cabin air filters without the tools uh, at our local O'Reilly by about 15 bucks. And this is at least claiming to be a HEPA cabin air filter and it also has some activated charcoal in it and it's just like you know what let's give this a shot and we'll go from there we're going to open up the box and as you can see it says HEPA cabin air filter uh, and show you what's inside so these are and there went my tools uh, these are the air filters the Tesla Model 3 has two of them we'll open the plastic up here uh, momentarily do that off camera this is a trim removal tool, which we're gonna to have to use to get into uh, where the cabin air filter is. And also in here is this little, well, I thought it was gonna be an Allen key, but this is a Torx key. I'll try to get that into the camera there so you can see that that is a Torx head bit on, and it is on both sides of it. But from watching his video, I know that I'm gonna need the short end of this, uh, and we'll go from there. Now, as I mentioned, I got the idea to get this kit from uh, the YouTube channel Tesla Owners Online. So I'm gonna recommend his video for proper install instructions and I'll link it down in the description. Uh, I'm making this video just to show you my experience with it and uh, we'll go from there, but I may have a tendency to talk through this is how you do it because that's just how I am. Uh, but in, <laughs> we may have some outtakes in here that I'll keep in just for fun. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we have to do is take the old cabin air filters out. Hey, check this out. After I did uh, unwrap the filters, I had this uh, little thing in, in between the cabin air filters. Have a nice day. It's a letter from x -Technor. And on the back, they've got a couple of QR codes that you can scan if you have trouble uh, with the installation. Can, it tells you which side. The black side goes towards the center console. So these are going to go in this direction with this facing the cabin and the, the HEPA part here facing that front of the car and there's like some other stuff that they make here so of course they're you know they're 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 selling some of their other things intake filters wiper blades spacex decals armrest boxes yada 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 so hey that's cool but i really like the you know hey here's how to do it if you get stuck so the first thing that uh they said to do was pull out this trim you know what, the first thing I'm gonna to have to do is take out my floor mat, because then I can get to the trim. So now I'm gonna reach in and try to pull out this trim, which, huh, I can get behind, I can get behind it up here. Just, ah, oh, there we go, that comes out pretty easy. Pop, pop, sorry for bumping the camera. There we go. Did I have any things pop out? Doesn't look like it. They just held in with these plastic tabs, and so it pops out pretty easily. So I'm gonna pull that aside. And I'll just set that over there on my driver's seat. All right, so one of the things I noticed in the Tesla owner online video was uh, he had a couple of cables to pull out of the way and an orange cable to pull out of the way, but I don't have those. Uh, I'm thinking because that video is three years old and this car is only two years old, it's a, new, <laughs> it's a newer vehicle. Uh, that might have been a, a change uh, for the 2022 model year, or maybe the 2021 model year. 
Uh, so I don't know, but all I know is I don't have those cables he said to pull out. Another thing that he mentions is the Allen uh, key, or this, in this case, it's a Torx nut. He uh, asked the Tesla engineers to put it on the bottom and look, lo and behold, there it is on the bottom. So I'm gonna assume that this, that one right there, finally got my finger on it. That's the one that I need to undo to get to the uh, cabin air filter. So I'm going to do that now. This should be the bolt that I need to take out, which is an awful lot easier to get to. And I don't see any cables that I need to undo. And this being a Torx, it, and I got better tools for this than since that. So I'm just gonna set those there. And hey, look at that, that is right. There's the cabin air filters right there. So sweet, no cables or nothing. However, getting to them is a bit of a pain. So there are these tabs. There we go. There we are, ha ha ha. So squish, squish down, squish down, please, please. takes a little bit of extra oomph. There's got to, I'm probably doing something wrong here, so. There we go, one out. Lift this one up. And this one should come out a whole lot easier. Or not. And there we have them. Now one thing that I'm gonna do that he recommended Hopefully this is right. I'm gonna reach in here. Yeah, there's my AC coils are right there. So I have some of this. Armor All Fresh Effects Vent and Duct Cleaner Odor Neutralizer. I'm just gonna spray that in there. So then it says in the directions, after treatment, allow vehicle to ventilate for five to 10 minutes, running fan on high, with the windows open. So I'm just sitting here while I'm running the AC, and uh, this is what the side facing the car uh, looks like on the old cabin air filters. But I turn it around, and oh my God, there's just like, I'm gonna have to clean my seats. Look at this, I mean, there's like dead bugs and stuff in here. Grass and all kinds of things. And here is the new one. So this is this, at least that shade, this, to this. And now on the car side that faces you is this side that's got the activated charcoal. So yay, and you can shake it and all that. I'm gonna need to clean my seats after this. Okay, so here's something that I was uh, worried about uh, because getting the old ones out through that hole, I kind of had to Hulk smash them to get them out. And these new ones are not squishy and it won't fit. So I'm gonna try something. I have got two more of these torque screws. I'm gonna take them off and see if this whole thing comes out. And if it does, great. If not, I'm gonna check the QR code or not. I think it's time to check the instructions. See QR code one or QR or two. Let's try QR two, because it's a newer car. YouTube, oh, it's a YouTube video. Oh, that's not working. YouTube. This video is private. Okay, let's try QR code one, YouTube. And there's an ad. Okay, so I'm gonna put those two screws back because that wasn't it. The QR codes, one went to a private video that it wouldn't let me watch, and the other one went to a video from EM Tesla that was older than Tesla owners online. So I'm gonna to have to figure this out on my own. What you are now seeing is the underside of the dash behind the glove compartment. And that's what I must need the trim removal to tool for, are those things there, and especially this one over here, because that's what's getting in my way from being able to, um, to get the new air filters in. So my head might be in the shot, and this may not be very good. I'm just gonna get the trim removal tool in there, see if it'll let me pop that out. There's one. Two, 
and three. Oh, there's another one up here in this corner right here. So that'll be four. All right, that should come out now. Oh, there went one. And there we go, there's that. Ah, here's the cables I'm supposed to disconnect. So the video was right, there are cables I need to disconnect and they're on this side. But I'm betting I can just scoot that off to the side and not worry about it. There's nothing here now in the way, so I am going to see, and that gives me a little bit more room. So uh, we're gonna try to put these in now. The black side, not this side, but this side, is supposed to face where the people are. The tab is on the top and facing outward. And look at that, it fits now. And that was so much easier. I didn't have to Hulk smash, but you know, I was only Hulk smashing the old one. So there's that, that one's in. And then next, you do the same thing again with filter number two, because there are two of them, and it just slides in, and that's it. The cabin air filters are replaced. Now I just gotta put everything back together. Huh. All right, you know what, fine, be that way. I'm going to line up these tongues. There we go, there's one. Hey, there we go. And push one in, and hey, now it's easy. <clears throat> two. Ah, 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 in. One more to go. Oops. I was sitting on it, okay. Push, okay. Dashboard is put back together. So now I'm going to put the screws back and I'm gonna start with the two I took out that I shouldn't have taken out. And with them being on the bottom, as was recommended in that prior video, then they are a lot easier to do. And don't be like me, and you won't have to do two of these, you'll only have to do one. You don't want to have to do three of them, you'll only have to do one. Now it's time to take this thing and put it back in place, just like that, and it just pops right on there. Super easy to do. That's the cover. One last screw, and that's done. Last step is to put this piece of carpeted trim back. Gonna kinda try to get it lined up. And back into place it goes. And it just pops right back in. And now there's one extra step that you may or may not have to do, but I gotta put my floor mat back in and then we're done. Now I have no idea how long that took me, but I did leave my camera on the whole time and I did not lose a battery, so yay. It's not all one clip, so I don't know how long that was. But bear in mind, when you do this job, you won't necessarily be moving around a couple of cameras to make sure that the angles are okay and going back into the house to get some of the equipment that you forgot. I'm really looking forward to having the smell go away when the air conditioner's on high, uh, but if you found this video um, in, in, informative, entertaining, you enjoyed laughing at how out of shape I am, give us a like and please subscribe for more content. We'll have more videos coming up.